Hi darlings, I hope you're all alright and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. Back for another react and this one's called Just Beezing and I'd like to thank Malarkey Meter uh, for this video because she deleted it and I didn't manage to catch it so I'm going to put a link in my description box so you can go over, subscribe, watch all Malarkey's videos, give them thumbs up and just basically get that algorithm working for them. Anyway, let's get on with it and let's react. We find her in her kitchen. She's all um, turquoisey and she's got a tea cosy to match. And I think we should get started. This hat is a yes, yes. That hat is a no, no. A definite no, no. Every time, like, we talk, it's, like, really sexual, like, okay. Excuse me? I've never said one word of sexuality, fruitiness, or naughtiness to you. Don't tell lies. I feel a little uncomfortable, basically, is what I'm saying. Why do you feel uncomfortable? Have you got a rash? You got a boil on your bum? What's going on, kid? Tell me more. So I've been, like, on the fence about him like on and off and I feel like oh on about a him are we oh right well that definitely can't be me I mean I know I can be a little bit butch and that but you know not that much I'm leading him on at this point and I feel bad oh yeah you're leading him on what have you got a leading colour on him like I think he wants something more serious does he I, kept, like, I just got some red flags hmm. that's my new favourite is it? That's nice. Like, you see me? So like, Lambo! <laughs> Grab a glass of wine. You've never been team little man? So like, he was just like little red flags. Now that I have boundaries, I just seem to mm -hmm. notice them more. Like, he'll be like, oh, I need to move out. Like, he was like, I don't know. He came here like, he, he, he was kept saying like he needs to move out soon. And then he kept joking about like moving in here. And, like, yeah. Just, like, kind of pushy about, like, I told him, like, at the beginning of the week, okay, I'll see you Friday, because I knew, like, I needed, like, a whole week to clean the villa, and just, like... Well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's an optimistic thing to think. A week? You're looking more like a month. Just de-stress and just worry about shit around here, you know, stuff I have to do in my life. Yeah. And he kept, like, every night he would message me after work and be like, me... After work? Mm, that's a clue and a half. So we're not on about Nada then, because Nada doesn't work, does he? Are we on about motorcycle guy? Me, I'm waiting for you at the bowling alley, or I'm waiting for you at the marina. Do you want to come to the marina for a couple of drinks? Mm -hmm. wanna, uh, can I come over? I really want to feel my in your pussy. And I'm just like, I... It's a bit frank, isn't it, Bab? A bit forward. And then making jokes about like coming over for the weekend and then like not leaving. I'm just like, I'm just a little worried. <laughs> you should be a little bit worried. He sounds like another bloody hobo. Looking to have a little bit of a rest in your villa. The guy is basically looking for a plan B. He's not working out wherever he's um, roosting at the moment. And he's hoping to roost in your chicken coop. The man's another grifter, Jesus Christ. You know, like, no, I wouldn't, Pally. Buy him a tent. I called him love, I know. I don't know what to say. I mean, he was calling me that. I don't know. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like I led him on a bit. Like, I was like, I'm starting to really like you. You led him on because you called him love. I call people that, I, that serve me in the supermarket love. Perfect not to strangers I call love, sweetheart, darling. That doesn't mean to say that, you know, I'm going to do the horizontal tango with them and move them in kit and caboodle. Jesus Christ, that's not leading them on. That's just been sort of friendly. Look, I like him, but not enough to inconvenience myself. Well, that means that you, could, you can't... <laughs> You can't love many people because you never want to inconvenience yourself. That's against the foodie beauty law. So I got a parcel from 
a wonderful person. Somebody, I have a sugar mama, basically. Have you? That's nice. A sugar mama, is she a jelly baby? No. A friend. Yeah. Put some of these up. What sort of stuff? No more bloody tea cozy. Please, God, no more tea cozies. This is from Tarte, so you know who you are. Thank you so, so fucking much. Let me just finish my bathroom. You s I wanted to see if I was blocked, Cluster Beeson. How did you guys see my comments? Because it comes up on the screen, you silly Mary. Am I blocked from this channel? I thought you didn't want to know him anymore. I thought you had boundaries. Well, because I just happened to see the falafels. And I was you just happened to see it. You tripped over his YouTube channel. Come on. You were bleeding out seek, seeking it, weren't you? You're doing it all the time. You're always keeping an eye on him. I'm really craving them, so I happened to watch it. Oh. So basically, you're after his meatballs. He enticed you with his meatballs. Oh, he's a, he's a meatball master, is that Nada? I watching him eat the full waffles. I was like, full waffles. God. But that's all I watched. I don't watch him every day. Well, at least there's something tasty about him. So, I'm talking to... Right. I'm excited. I'm talking to... I might have plans with somebody tomorrow. Just to meet up. Just to see if there's any... Meatballs. Just be honest about what? I'm being honest. Busted for one. That bloody smirk. That tells you for definite she's not being honest. I tell you what, darling. You, you walk in that tightrope again. Remember, lies are like splinters. They always come to the surface in the end. Jesse Wesley, welcome to the Guys, I'm done with Natter. Like, I can't even tell you how fucking done I am. Like, that's Dee Dee's problem now. Dee Dee, good luck, good luck, you. But that means that Dee Dee will have all his meatballs, darling, and you've already confessed to being a meatball man maniac. I hate you. I hope your apartment smells like fish for ten years and you hate it and you gag every time you wake up. Tart! Lovely! Excuse me. Oh my god. You know... Tart will probably uh, clip that and use it in one of their um, advertisement um, PR stunt things. You could be on the telly, darling, in one of their adverts. Break down beauty boundaries. Have a wash. What the bought your kid? Bottle of bleach. Come on, hurry up, making a meal out of that tissue paper. It's only going to end up on the bloody floor anyway. Okay. Go on, tell us so, what you got. This is a sample of Tarte Skin Care, Tarte Knockout. I guess I'll try that. Oh. see how that goes. Surfer Curl Vegan Fucking Lashes. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, those look nice. Mmm. <clears throat> I like that the band around them looks thin, too, so it's not like... I hate when odd lash, fake lashes have like a bulky band. Yeah, me too. I can't put them on. We have two Maracuja Juicy Lip Plumpers. Oh, lovely. Ooh. That'll match the rest of your face and then, will it? The Rainforest of the Sea Gloss. Beautiful. Let's try, these lip, let's try this lip shit. Oh, it looks like, oh, cool. They have little beads of sweat on it or something. Beads of sweat? What do you want about beads of sweat? You mean... Uh, droplets of water. Why would a company put beads of sweat all over its makeup packaging? Shut up. Like a nude. Mmm. Oh, it smells good though. Oh, it's so moisturizing. Holy shit. Lovely. Put it all over then. Mmm. Hey, Miss Holly. Oh, that's nice. 
Oh my god, that's so moisturizing. Holy crap. That'd look really nice with like some dark eyeshadow. And it smells like coconut. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, and it's plumping too. And this is tulip. Mm -hmm. Watch how small. Looks like the same colour to me. Oh. Slightly so different. moisturising and. Slightly different colour of beige. You love beige, don't you? Ooh. That's nice. And then we have this lip gloss. Oh, she's blowing me a kiss. Is it? Love. Thank you. Smashing. Oh, look at that mess. Look. Look at it all balled up in the bloody corner. Hamsters do that, don't they, in their cages? They'll have one corner where they go to the toilet, don't they? Have their wee wees and their poo poos. They'll have another corner that they sleep in. And then the other corner is where they put all their rubbish. And then the other corner, they put their stock of food. You know, hamsters have got... Well, hamsters actually are very much like our foodie beauty, aren't they? They're always ramming food into their little pouches. And, you know, they store it all in one corner. Yeah, she's just like a big furry hamster. Look at that bloody tea okay, cosy on her head. She looks bloody special, doesn't she? Let's do a tour. Okay. Oh, we're having a tour oh, now. Perfect there. She's going to show us all her hard work, you see. We're going to be impressed by this, I'm sure. Oh, she's got, look, she's got a space up there. Bouncy bounce. They vacuum the stairs. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Still have cat hair. i got to go around and take those off, but... Excuse me! That's a pussy, that is. So I vacuum the stairs. Fabulous. And I put a picture up. Smashing. And we have these vacuumed. I tried scrubbing as much stains as I could. Did you? Anyways, I put all the cat toys. Why doesn't she get a carpet um, cleaner chap in? Come on, foodie. Stop being such a tight ass. Get it done properly. Do you need a box? Can you just bring me down my stand? My white stand? Oh, I'm glad this is here. Thanks, Faith. Look at my head groove. I Febreze to the couch. Smashing. There's nothing behind the couch anymore either. I cleaned behind there. Did you? My God, you've been working Look hard, Bab. This is an active garbage bag. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. And I'm assuming that uh, Gladys did fuck all towards all of this, you lazy Mary. I'm just showing them what I did for cleaning. Mm -hmm. You did a lot. Yeah. She sure did, and like I say, not with much help off you either, you lazy Mary. Well, and then, uh, like I said, I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna hire somebody to come, probably uh, next week or whatever. Look at all those boxes, Jesus! Cardboard bloody city. All the boxes will be gone. Now the table. Mm-hmm. Look where it's cracked. So what happened really to it? Did you bounce on it? Will fall, so I'm thinking of having them take this too. Yeah. Or. I know, but I was wondering maybe I could just use wood glue, but that would be too. I don't know. No, it would never take the yeah, white weight uh, wood glue. When you bought the table. I said that there was no point to it. We can't have a house with no table. What if we ever have company or something? When do we? Have We're adults. We need a table. When do we ever have company? You never have company, because neither one of you got any friends, I don't think. That's why you need to go out into the world, Gladys, and join the human race, and you might make some friends. And then you can have them back, and you can invite them for dinner, and you can sit round the bloody table. Well, maybe we would have company if we had a table. You know? Yes, what? Sh food. <laughs> Tell him. Tell him. He's uh, an obstinate fecker, isn't he? 
What a miserable shit. There's never any joy in anything. You could give that man a cheque for a million dollars and he'd have to find something to maudle about. <laughs> so what I still, there's, well, the dishwasher, I put the dishwasher on. Mm-hmm. What I still have to do is mop and sweep the rest right. of the floor. Right. Fabulous. And P did change the box. There's a shit in there that was just recently laid. Was it? Can we see how soft or hard it is just for evidence purposes? Yeah, the toilet is clean, but I gotta mop the floor in here Mm -hmm. as well. Very good. Mop down here, here is dirty as fuck. Shit, look at. Well, I can't see from here, darling. You need uh, to go down to show me. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't, can you? You're allergic to stairs. I pretty much vacuum like three times. Fabulous. But that bleeding off. Hoover's yeah. having a Benny, isn't it? Is it going to therapy? A little bit of stains. I got that big stain out though. Looks like. Lovely. Um, so <clears throat> that's pretty much what I did. My Smashing. I washed down my couch with Lysol wipes in the middle here. Mm-hmm. Breeze, use lint brush on those pillows. Lovely. My corners all clean. <laughs> You're almost an adult kid. But it's because like there's a couple of other guys that Oh she's got a Harvey. As well, that I'm kind of like really into. That are more my type. But yeah. I, I was into him, like I did like him, I'm attracted, he was very nice, very good looking, but as I said before, I don't know why people don't think he's real, you literally heard his motorcycle, like, and then people are like, well, she's just going to uh, order Uber Eats, why would I order Uber Eats in the middle of nowhere when I can just order it here, like that's so stupid. Maybe a new chap is an Uber driver. And the Uber Eats driver just happened to have a motorcycle, like... Okay. I'm well, he's not going to have bloody roller skates, is he? Oh, vape. Yeah, that's a total red flag. Total red flag. Isn't it funny how you always notice their red flags? But that's the thing. That's what I realized. I saw a quote and I think it forever will change my, the way I look at relationships. Like, hmm I always am the type of person. Yeah. It's just heating up the concentrate. I'm waiting. Come on, is she giving that little kiss of life? I'm the person who, like, does things really quickly. Yeah. You. Isn't it funny? That's irony, that is. You're slow as fuck for everything except for boys. Perhaps we should stick a boy on everything. Stick a boy on the front of the hoover. You might touch it now and again. Sleep with the person right away. Okay, let's move in together. Like, literally, this guy seems like he's got to make some life changes. And I'm just like... Mm Mm-hmm. I'm just not like... Oh, for change. I don't want to, like, have a life with somebody... Like, for me, my life is with Pete's. Mm-hmm. As a family, I guess. With my cats. The Adams yeah, family. I do my, my own thing, you know? Yeah. You want your space, don't you, darling? There are things in my life good, Kermit. Idiot. What's that? Weed. The food in the fridge. I mean, what is good in your life? I have some good things in my life. I don't have nothing good in my life. Well, name them. Go on, list them off to us. There's just too many red flags. And mm-hmm. like... Isn't it funny how you always notice everybody else's red flags, but you never notice Nada's, did you? There's another bit of irony for you. Just not, no. Because of existence logic, there's no strings with you guys. Mm-hmm. You, you know, I can turn... If I want to stop hanging out with you guys... Um, exactly. Well, like, I can just turn off the camera, right? Yeah. So, but him, it's like, 
He's, I just feel suffocated. I don't know how to explain it. I don't even know. Well, then take your CPAP machine with you then. Me too. I feel suffocated. I don't feel right. Decided last minute, kind of. I think that's shitty of me. That's kind of what I do. I try not to, but I'm always last minute. Like, before you enter a partnership with somebody, you should be your own person and fulfilled and happy. You shouldn't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that. So, when are you going to get fulfilled and happy? I think you've been waiting to get fulfilled and happy for 20 odd years. You need to get a, a riddle on with that. That's what I want to strive for and that's what I'm going to do. But you're always striving, darling. You're always striving and you're never doing. Come on, like I said, get a riddle on. Pretty much, but I'm starting to change that. That's the reason. So oh, I yeah. If I was like that all my life tomorrow or just like today i woke up i can change if i want to yeah you can but it's not going to be hard work because there's no magic wand is there in anything and then you know what everything i used to do in the past is fucking irrelevant because today i'm a different person so how do you no it's not you see that's the thing that's the thing about history it's always there it might fade a bit into the distance as you make your way forward through life and make all these changes that you're apparently going to do. It might fade a bit, but it'll never disappear. It can't do because your history, the things that you've done and the things that you've said in life are part of you and they're a part of the journey, even the negative stuff. Sometimes the negative stuff's more important than the positive things. Because you learn more from the negative stuff. But you can't just eradicate it. That's impossible. It makes up who you are. So it's a burden you've got to carry all of your life. And the regrets and sometimes the consequences too from that history. But you can't just blank it out. This is not that... Uh, this is not that film, Men in Black, you know, with that little machine that makes you forget everything. No. It always is there in the back of your mind. And sometimes it comes and it taps you on the, on the shoulder and says, hello. And it all comes flooding back. You like that? Yeah, I did. I did a lot today, actually. Did you? you. What did you do today? Watch live streams all day? No, actually, I, I went to work, uh, put in another 10-hour shift. I've worked nearly 50 hours this week. And I also did some housework, looked after my son, my husband, my cats, my dog, run errands, went shopping, did a bit of grocery shopping. You see, you need to stop judging people by your own standards. Not everybody's got all day, every day, to sit round on their arses. Exactly. So stop being so snippy. Hi, Do you think you can change after four? Yes. Anyways, there's some things I don't want to change about myself. I love myself and I love myself. Do you? I'm very grateful for it. You don't love yourself. You absolutely loathe yourself, if the truth be known. Because you wouldn't be the way you are if you loved yourself. You don't love any part of you. It's all a facade. It's all a mask. That's why you're angry all the time. I fell in love with matter, or so I thought, I guess. I don't know. You became obsessed really by him. Project. I can't tell you right now, but I'm still doing a lot of inner reflection about the whole situation. I hope you've got a big bloody mirror. My whole relationship with him, and yeah. Right now I'm choosing to just forget about it. So how can you reflect? You can't reflect on stuff and work it out and process it and forget about it. I and mean, it's either one or the other, lovey. Make your mind up. Well, that's it, Rhonda. I think my relationship with him has taught me a lot, a lot of stuff. Has it? What? I'm not, like, type of person I cannot be with. It's taught me boundaries. It's taught has me it? flags. It's taught me. Oh, has it? Oh, I'm glad. Um, I think you guys have helped me see a lot of stuff too. Absolutely. He's a bit of a guru, isn't he, Arnada? 
Yeah, but cluster bees in, it's hard. Like, you expect me to just, like, I don't fucking, it's like, you're just, like, searching for me to, like, you're, why are you looking around? Like, who cares? I left one comment. It's like, we're you, both YouTubers, so we both share a lot of the same audience, and it's... You said the other video that it was absolutely awful having to deal with the fact that the bloke was on the same media platform. Now, you two creator bosom buddies here on YouTube, come on. You were scoping him, weren't you? You were following him. You like to keep an eye on him. Don't you? You want to know what he's up to. What he's saying about you, more importantly. Come on. Tell the truth, shame the devil. I not see any of his shit on YouTube. And yeah, I had a weak moment. Yeah, I was like, his falafels. It's all about his meatballs. You're not interested in him as a person. You only want his meatball. There's no way in hell I'll take you back. I love is that, that song for that reason now. Is that right, darling? Well, we'll check in on the next video and we'll see whether or not that tune, that record's been changed. Oh. These are fragments of your relationship. I can tell you're getting over him. Yeah, fragments. Exactly, Rebe. Thank you. Your chat giving you some pointers, giving you some little ideas. That's nice of him. I knew someone smart would chime in. Is that right? Well, you'd be able to recognize a smart person. What with you being a bloody genius? But yeah, like I just, sorry. But you were nice and he is so nasty to you online. Makes threats. Please be strong. Yeah, that's, and honestly, I've, it's almost like I've just been seeing his nastiness for the first time or something. Like I swear, when I hear him talk, it's like cringe. Like, are you fucking serious? Yeah, he is. As serious as you were when you were being rude and horrible to him. Just having a taste of your own medicine, darling. That's why it's smart. Yeah, but that takes time, Charlotte. Like, that's learn to ignore the things. So, in the meantime, if I feel like I need to block things for my mental health, and just mm -hmm. why, why would I want constant negativity here? It just doesn't even make sense. I don't even know why people like reading that. If you like reading negativity all the time, you might have a problem with your friggin' screws in your head. Like... Well, then your bleeding screws in your head must be absolutely <laughs> that loose that they actually come out. Because you are probably one of the most negative people here on YouTube, you cheeky Mary. Like, I, I don't get it. No, you don't get much, you. Well, when it suits, anyway. YouTube is really good for me, Star Jesus. Whatever is it? Is it? Why is YouTube good for you? What, what What's YouTube done for you? Other than enable you to sit on your backside doing as little possible, putting on what more weight, a pound after pound after pound, and being paid very well for it. YouTube, I know that you think it's fantastic because it enables you to do that. You get paid very, very well for very little. But it's an actual fact. It's, it's your worst enabler. It's the worst thing in some ways that's ever happened to you because it's backed you into a corner now. You're of such size. You've got that many health problems that you couldn't find work in any other avenue. So you're sort of stuck with it. You're backed into a corner. That's why when your uh, channel got took down, you were bleeding shit in yourself because you knew that you had no other, no other options. What were you going to do? That's why you were so scared. So don't talk flannel. We're not daft, you know, us. You're giving us credit again. You're, you're judging us by your own standards. We're not stupid. Far from it. Probably, what's the alternative? Go to work at a shitty fucking job that makes me even more miserable for less money? That doesn't make any sense, Starbeezer. I can't just get off YouTube. This is my life. Of course you can't. Because you couldn't get that job, could you? Because you can't get yourself up in the morning anyway. You can barely waddle your arse down them bloody stairs into your car as it stands. You couldn't live with a schedule. You couldn't live with a boss telling you what to do. You'd never cope with the work. It's too much. You spend most of your day sat on your arse. That's why it doesn't make sense. <clears throat> It's not always something negative, but sometimes it is, Charlotte. So that those sometimes people, I block them. Well, not sometimes, all the time. 
Actually, I don't like interacting with that many real life people, and I do interact with real life people. How do you guys like? Do you? I ha I don't. You don't like to interact with real life people, but you do interact with real life people. Again, you need to make your mind up, darling. Like I have too many real life people that I need to interact with. I'm a very social person. I'm oh not yeah. A shut in, fucking slob that lays on my ass all day like people think i fucking actually like if i do it's because i'm depressed and i can't do anything so yeah now and i am actually trying to help myself and I, i'm getting back to rebuilding the friendships with people in my life uh-huh oh yeah and i like to spend time with you guys if this is how i want to spend my time who fucking cares like people should be allowed to spend the time however they fucking want yeah, you can do exactly what you want when you want. But just be on about, honest about it. Don't bullshit. Don't make out that you're a busy little bee running around antibacterializing everything every five minutes because you're not. You're a lazy Mary. You guys are here. Like, people will come and be like, what are you doing all day? You're like, you're like in my live stream all day and you're criticizing me. Let's just all admit we have no life and we don't. I like having no life. I'm too stressed out. I have anxiety. I, I thought you had a life. I thought you had friends. I thought you socialised. I thought you socialised with people all the time. That you, you didn't just sit about all day. Only when you were depressed. What is it? Make your mind up. I'm so fucking like... I'm not going to be going zip lining. Sorry. <laughs> Bloody... I don't think there's a line that could take you. Yeah. Zipping or any otherwise. I don't show my entire life, Sarpies, or trust Don't you? A lot of my life you guys don't see. Oh, <laughs> well, I dread to think what we've missed. Everyone has a life, Astral. <laughs> like, every single person has a life. Just mm. because it's not exciting to one person doesn't mean that it's not exciting for someone else. Like, why should someone... I tell you what, I dread to meet the person that finds your life exciting. You don't have a life, you exist. That's what you do. You exist from day to day. Live how you want them to live. How you think they should fucking live. You should be going to school. You should be doing this. Fuck off. Get the stick out of your ass. Mind your business. That's true. You, 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 do, you are concerned with yourself. You absolutely are your own biggest worry. But you... Pay attention to how other people live a lot. I mean, Nada and Didi, uh, two prime examples. FFG and a myriad of other people, reactors in particular. You care about how much, uh, how they live their lives. I did sleep with him once. Who's this now? Um, Who are we on about now? Nada. I regret that because I felt like he was... No, I don't know. I just he was good at waiting. Like I like the first few times I met up with him, we mm -hmm. just like talked and hung out and had a good time. Is this the motorcycle we man? For like a few hours. Oh, did you? That's nice. You held off for quite a while he never then. Pushed me to do anything. Did he not? What happened? But like he was kind of pushed. Like he was and he wasn't. I don't know how to explain it. But we're not going on to another essay um, arc, are we? Please, please, please don't start down this little road about how he was pushy with you. Come on. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like men are like that, though. A lot of them just want sex all the time. <laughs> yeah, they do. A lot of men are horny devils, but, you know, you just wallop them with a wooden spoon and they tend to submit. How you behave is your choice. If you don't want to sleep with somebody, you say you don't sleep with them. No matter how bloody pushy they are. You say, on your bike, kitty. I mean, quite literally with motorcycle, man. You know, they can be as pushy as they like. You don't have to let them push your button. Oh, and I just started talking to this other guy. This guy is like, I think he's more just like into hooking up. Is he's he? really smart though, the way he talks. He's probably the smartest mm -hmm. guy I've talked to, so talking to him is... Wow, he can string a sentence t can together, can he, without swearing or being, um, you know, grammatically incorrect. Fabulous. Intimidating a bit. <laughs> so, um... How's he intimidating, Bab? He's got, like, a lot of money. I see. 
and a nice house. Well, not a lot of money. He's got a really good job and a nice house by himself. Mm -hmm. So he seems like a player. He's really well groomed and like, he's say, oh my god, that kind of thing. Like, it seems like the, the, the type to just go on. Oh, it's Friday night, so Tinder is like all the men are fucking like, hey, what are you doing, Birdie? There's all this one guy. Oh my god, he's so fucking hot. <laughs> this one guy. He called me Birdie. What are you up to? Did Tinder? he? They all message. Did he think you were Big Bird off Sesame Street? You do look nice in yellow, I must admit. You had yellow on the other week. Perhaps he saw that video. You know, he's really well groomed. Like, more, more groomed than me, so I'm kind of... More groomed than you. My sister-in-law, on a personal note, my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, has just bought a piggy. It's a saddleback. It's a lady piggy. And she's got a big schnuffly nose. And she's all fat and chubbly she's lovely milo wasn't very enamored i don't think he liked the level of personal hygiene because of course she's a piggy you see and piggies live in mud there's no cardboard boxes like but there's plenty of mud and you know she's lovely and you know you're your level of cleanliness is about the same level as my sister-in-law's new piggy. Anybody, anybody would have a better hygiene standard than you. I don't know many people that are, any, that are even on a par with you. And anyway, who are you to judge people's levels of cleanliness. That's like Charlie Manson judging other people's level of sanity. No, the boxes are broken down, but they're like, really? I don't know. No, they're not. Not the ones we they saw. Were they were still intact. It's overwhelming for us, so. Oh, overwhelming. What's overwhelming? Shut up a minute. What's overwhelming about a box? It's got four sides. It's got two sets of flaps. What's overwhelming about that cardboard box? And they're not all uh, put down. All you've got to do is break them apart and tie them all together with a piece of string. What's overwhelming with that? It's not a Rubik's Cube. You're not being asked to fill out the Times crossword. <laughs> yeah. Can you be bra only and get McDonald's? What's what's happening there? Did you see that? That shuddering. Is she having some sort of seizure? It's like she sort of blanked out for a moment. I mean, I'm genuinely concerned with that. What's that about? Hmm. I'll have to watch out for that. Yeah. I'm probably going to go Mario soon. Lovely. Imagine shaming people for what they're able and not able to do. What is it? Is it cardboard ableism? Is that what we're talking now? Shut up. Theater beauty. They are flattened. Like, they're not this, flat. Early on in this video, I showed a clip of those boxes were up and out or put together or whatever you call it they certainly weren't flat he cannot put all of those boxes in our recycle bin at this point why our buildings recycle so why can't you take a few I down every week mind. <clears throat> and how do you know what i'm able to do you don't know what i'm able to do random viewer you're not able yes we are we do know what you're able to do fuck all because you do fuck all in my body you don't inhabit my skin thank you god no i'm not gonna watch sjm anything <laughs> you're not friends and yesterday i was so paranoid like and then i seen like the video of him giving me the finger and me like fuck yeah and so I just like, <laughs> yeah, I made the right choice. Did you block him? Is he a fanatical? Is he obsessed yeah, by you? Someday, yeah. 
he's going to sue. I'd like to know what he's suing me for. Oh, where do we start? A whole myriad of things. Tea cozy abuse yeah. for a start off. I guess he's mad that I didn't want him to come drive. I'm like, what? I don't even understand what he's mad about. Like, I don't get it. He's a fanatic. See he's obsessed. I don't want to deal with people. It's exhausting. Oh I'd God. rather just be alone. I don't have to deal with that shit. I, I really, really can entertain myself just fine. Can you? Oh, you got that vibrator then. Small on purpose. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Get it my back. You got bed bugs again. Oh, look at the face on that. It's like a bloody monkey. He said he was on coke. You're not going to drug shame now, are you? He's on coke. Yeah, and you're sucking on that bloody vape like a like a baby on a woman's ditty. Really? Mm. And you drove drunk many a time, high as a kite, or when you've had a drink inside of you, so shut up. I'm just in a no nonsense kind of mood, I guess. And no nonsense. <laughs> you're full of nonsense. Leading him on. Like Giving me money doesn't entitle a relationship with me at all, especially not a thousand dollars or whatever you gave me. I'm worth a lot more than that. Ah, uh, yeah. It, it, by, by the pound, I suppose you are. Yeah, there's truth there. I don't know, I really don't. Like, instead of looking, like, instead of, like, examining his behavior, He's blaming me. That sounds like someone else I know. Natter. Yeah, but he's a nutter, isn't he? He's a nutter. He's a fanatical. He's not full shilling. He's not the full picnic. He's a couple of sandwiches short. And that's yeah, what that happens when you mess with nutters. And then you blame other people for it. That's your, your go-to. And then Dee Dee sits there going, Yeah, you're right, Natter. She's enabling him. She's not good for him. She enables him. You enable his behaviour... Gladys enables you. What's the difference? Well, a frock and a blonde wig, I suppose. You're just really probably just as bad as him. No use for you. I don't... I don't know. Don't come to my house. I don't like people coming to my house. Not unless you've got pizza or meatballs. How do I take money? I didn't take money. And I didn't talk to him. I, like, randomly sent, like, a few messages. Mm-hmm. So, no. I have no... I'm not going to feel guilt in any way. Absolutely not, Fuba Park. So, she doesn't do guilt, do you, darling? People giving me super chats is not me taking their money. I'm a public figure. Oh, super yes, you're very public. anyone to use. If he's under the wrong impression, why am I responsible for what he's what he does? Just thinking of all the stress and the anxiety and mm -hmm. pain and fucking upset, gaslighting, manipulation. Going oh, through, fuck it's a whole self help she book, isn't it? With you, Doc. Dee Dee having to deal with Dee. If I never have to see her fucking comb over again in my fucking life or hear her goddamn voice, ah. I'm sure she feels yeah. exactly the same. It, but the good thing for me is mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he's been fucking her eight ways from Tuesday. This whole Does it time. not? Good. That's what I'm assuming. It doesn't matter. Really? Then why have you made video after video after video about that very issue that he was fucking her left, right and bloody centre? And that's why it's over. That's one of the reasons it's over. It's not the only that's right. One of the reasons. This bank is closed. This heart is closed. This everything is closed when it comes to that or else. So just yeah. Right. We'll so see. I still fucking loathe him. <laughs> Maybe even more. The more I even just I'm more I'm away from him, the more I hate him. Right. And but you still love his meatballs. Sure but I don't know. I don't know. I think I've just been so fucked over by them that. That anger is... Uh, I try not to let it affect me, but... Do you think that anger could get sated by a dish 
of meatballs. Do you think everything being closed, perhaps it could be opened up a little crack? If he presented you with a great big bowl of meatballs, I wonder. A grown adult should not be relying on another grown adult like that. Like, that's taking advantage. That's taking... You mean like Gladys does to you? The only difference between Gladys and um, Nada is the fact that you don't sleep with Gladys. And Gladys doesn't cook. You fucking advantage. Well... Like you Nada doesn't cook really, does he? He sort of fiddles about with stuff and then whacks it in the oven for a very, very, very long time. Could be trying. If this person cared about me in any way, they would not be using me. If this well, person no. loved me, he would not be using me. Right, and basic one on one. I'm sorry to tell you, he's using you, honey. Mm -hmm. You can sit there looking all smart with your fucking brow bone, thinking, eh, and send me all the Selena Gomez songs you want, honey. He was just trying to move out with me. Was he? He's using you. So. And why was he wanting to move in with you so desperate? Because you don't make, because she doesn't make 20,000 a month, that's why. Yeah, sure. I used to like, oh, he wants something from me. He wants cigarettes from me. And I you thought it gave you power, me. didn't you? You enjoyed it because you thought that it gave you power over him. Him wanting, needing you all the time. What can I do for him? What can I do for him? What can I do for him? Get him an egg timer, I think. That's the first thing you could should have got him. So he could have timed how much he puts, how long he puts things in the cooker for. You should write a book, you know, with all these life skills in it. I'd buy it. You could sell it on Amazon. Talk about whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, no, talk about what you want. Lay it on me, kid. It's more content for me. She's she's winning what? Just two weeks ago, he literally, literally once was moving out. Like, he couldn't move out fast enough. Like, <laughs> that's the way it is. But the thing is, darling, she has won. She's one nada. You'd swap with her like that if you could. And the reason, like I said before earlier, that he wanted to move in with you is because you earn more money. He would be financially a lot more stable. You know? It's all about the money for the man. So you can hold your head in your bloody hands as much as you want and make out that, you know, you're <laughs> Dee Dee's the daft one. You know, she's just the... The daft one of the moment. And you had that starring role before her for a very long time, didn't you, darling? And you loved it while you were in it. That's the truth. So anyway, that's it. Um, bit of a more sombre, quiet one, you know. Not so many laughs, but uh, I enjoyed talking to you. I really did. I'm doing some more editing, editing and I'll be back with you soon. Until then, take care of yourselves, won't you? And remember, I love you very, very much. See you later. Bye. <laughs>